Hello friends, today we are going to see how to create a login form using NetBuns. As you are able to see what we are expecting. So we are expecting a frame, it's a Java frame. As we are creating with the help of Swing, so it is going to be a J frame. You are able to see some GUI components are there. Username, password and you are able to see some buttons that is login, then sign up forgot password and in red color you are able to see trouble in login and on the right hand side you are able to see one image is there which is icon representing a log. When we are going to fill the data into this J frame you are able to see we are going to enter the details like username and the password. As you are able to see whenever you are going to fill the password it is going to represent in an asterisk symbol that is in daily life we call it as star it is encrypted you are not able to see it it's for protection now how to do it using netbins you are going to open your netbins it is supported for 8.2 onwards any version how you are going to do it now here you are able to see you are going to create a project in netbins normal java application and you are going to give a name to it here we are trying to create for library management this login form so you are able to see a library source package to this we want to add a jframe right click you are able to see in blue color new is there under new you are able to see jframe is there so focus on the blue contents you are able to see new and the jframe once you will click on the new frame it's going to ask you the name of it so here you are able to see admin login this is the name which we have given to this j frame and where it is going to save it it's going to save it under this path what is this path it's going to save it under documents folder a separate folder for netbins project has been created under that you will get your library folder and under that we are going to create admin login dot java simply click on finish as you are able to see here, click on this finish option and you will be able to see an empty template. This gray color frame is the one where we are going to enter the GUI. Now we will see this ID step by step. At the top you are able to see all the menu bar. This is your frame, empty frame on which we are going to work and on the right hand side you are able to see a palette is there. And we will explore these options in the next slide. We are going to focus on this palette because we want to add GUI components. You are able to see swing containers and swing controls are there. So these are the swing container and these are the swing controls. From the JFrame, if you recall, then we have taken some label that is for username, password and trouble in login. Then next is button like sign up, login, forget and password field for entering the password and text field is to enter the username. Now we will see if we are adding that button, what are the properties? Are these property only restricted to button? No. I have chosen some of the properties which are common to all the GUI component like button text field, password and what are these properties might be whenever you visit any website then you will be able to see the login form where you will get a fancy GUI in the background you will see lots of colors are there uh, then you will be able to see different font sizes they have used and the style they have used so how they are able to do it it is simply the magic of this net bits you are able to see here the background and the red color arrow indicate 240 240 and 240 what this 240 is all about it is an rgb combination under this rgb combination this first 240 represent the red color second 240 represent the green and the third one represent the blue then after this background setting what you can do you can change the font size font style and you can make it bold italic underline by default, Tahoma you are able to see. That is the font which we have chosen. 
and what is the size of it? It's 16. Can you change it? Yes, you can. Here you are able to see three dots are there. You can simply click on these dots and it will explore many things. And what it's going to show you? You can change the size of it like 20, 22. You can change the font size, then style and its name. After this, you are able to see same like the background of any component of button or a text field, you can change the foreground. That is the text which is appearing on the GUI component like text field. In case of button, we don't call it as a, a text. We say it, it's a caption. Here you can set the color to it. By default, to any component, black color is being applied. But if you want, you can change that color. Next, you are able to see if I don't want to write any caption to a button, but I want to add an image to that button. How you can do so? You are able to see here icon is there and here right now none has been selected. But you can download any JPG image from Google and you can store it inside any folder and you can browse for that folder and choose that image. The text which is appearing on the button here you are able to see its property. It's J button 1. This J button 1 is actually the object name. But now here you can change it. For example, suppose you want to keep it like submit or login or sign up or forget. So this is that caption which is going to be displayed on that button. If you are going to copy and paste, means you are choosing for it. Yes, you can go ahead for copy and pasting the image. Copy it from the downloads folder and directly you can paste it under your source that is your library file you are able to see directly you can paste that is control V simply by writing control V you will be able to paste your image if you want you can keep a separate folder create a separate folder and keep all the images which you required for your project here one example is given of lock that is and it's going to have a key when you are going to sign up. If you have dragged and dropped all the components from the palette, here you are able to see label 1, label 2, text field 1 and the password. And you are able to see one button we have added. You are able to see it is distorted. Means it is not in a sync. If we want to make all these components in sync and try to give a look of any internal frame, then we can do so with the help of internal frame. How you can do it? Select all the options. As you are able to see, I have made use of control A in order to select all the components. It has been highlighted with the orange color. Okay. So orange color will indicate that you have selected that option and now you want to club it together. So select all the options and after this, click on and close in and click on this internal frame and this is the output which you are going to get now everything is under a frame how we will conclude that it is under a frame you are able to see a java icon which is nothing but a coffee mug and it indicates that all your gui component to label text field password and the button is now internally frame inside it once you will double click on that button by default, NetBeans provide this ready-made code. But you are able to see nothing has been added in its definition. We can rewrite this definition and we are going to do it so. What we are thinking? We are thinking to get the username from the text field. We are going to get the password from the password. And there we are going to display a message. Once a user is going to click on a login, we should get a message welcome and the username. And some exclamatory marks we are going to give. How we are doing it? J text field 1 is the first object. It has two methods by default that is get text and set text. Get text to get the text which user has entered and set text will be used in order to display the message. We are getting the text which user has entered and we are putting it under a string variable un. Then next is password. But for password, you are able to see we can't directly say get text because it will give you an encrypted message. And we don't want an encrypted message. Then what we want? 
we want a password here once you will say get password it will give you the password but it will not be in unicode format if you want it so then attach one more method to it that is to string and you will get your password in text field and then we are trying to a display message with the help of label you can make use of a method called set text and then you will be able to display the message observe this string concatenation how we are concatenating it now let me focus on it you are able to see some double quotes are there okay and what this double quotes indicate it's a string i want this welcome as it is so i am writing it i am enclosing it within double quotes but now i want the value of this variable so i am using concatenation operator that is this plus plus is called as concatenation operator in string and then one more string we want to display as it is so we are making use of it so use double quotes when you want a string use plus when you want to make use of the value of that variable in this way your gui will be ready and now suppose we are entering the username as arti and in password whatever password you want to set in this gui we are simply focusing on how to enter the values into this component and then click on the login observe the change here you are able to see trouble in login this trouble in login is now going to be changed because this is j label 1 and we have made use of j label 1 dot set text to display the message welcome to the user what is the user name here it's arti and when you are going to click on this login button you are going to get a message what will be that message so it is going to be welcome and arti so in this lecture we have seen how to make use of the j label j text field password how to add any image to your j frame then buttons and how to set the text which you have entered means user has entered using the label hope so all these ideas are clear to all of you and in the next lecture we will continue it further see you soon